How are YouTube? Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you, as is usual. Um, now for this one, we're going to go back down to London in England. As I've mentioned to you in a couple of my beer reviews before, in Oddbin stores in Scotland, you actually get a very good little variety of uh, London craft beer, and there's some very, very good stuff coming out of there, in my opinion. So we're going to revisit one of the breweries d from down in London called Pressure Drop Brewing, and this time we're going to take a taste of their Stokey Brown Ale. And uh, the last one I reviewed for you was in fact the Fryman's Dunkelweiss so you'll find the link to that in the video description along with the link to the brewery website and Facebook page. These guys are very small and very new but definitely worth checking out if you get the chance so make sure you do that but um, as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a brief history of the brewery. Very brief with this one of course because it is a very new brewery but as I always say if you are simply just interested in the tasting of this beer then feel free to go on towards the second half of the video and you will catch that particular segment. So anyway the Pressure Drop Brewery was apparently formed in 2012 with their first beers being sold in 2013 and it's actually owned by three friends, Graham, Sam and Ben and it operates out of a property under one of the old railway arches in the Hackney area of London also very famous of course for Iron Maiden, one of my favourite bands but the website says they'd been mainly brewing with a small pilot brewing set but in June they upgraded to an 800 litre brewery and began brewing with it very very quickly but apparently they've also had a collaboration with MasterChef winner Tim Anderson and he presented some of their beers at a special tasting night in Duke's Brewing Queue along with beers from the Beavertown Brewery and this one is actually a very very good brewery as well owned by I believe either the son or the grandson of one of the Led Zeppelin members there but they've also made some appearances at various different beer festivals and their beers are available, available as I mentioned throughout the UK in Oddbin stores but just to list the other beers you can get from these guys, obviously you have this guy here the Stokey Brown which is a brown ale they've got the Street Porter which is the London Street Porter, Wugang Chops the Tree uh, which is a vice beer apparently Bosco which is an IPA hopefully I can try that for you sometime and they also have Pale Fire which is an IPA but they seem to vary this one with di various different hop varieties, there's quite a few different versions of this one as well and they also have the Freimann's Dunkelweitz which is a sort of Dunkel Hefeweitz in there very popular style in Germany that one but there are other beers as well listed on Rate Beer but those ones are the ones that are on the website and listed as their current brews so as I say go and check out the brewery website and you can get a look at what they do and keep an eye out for their beers in Oddbin stores and you should be able to give a few of them a try yourself because I was very impressed with the Freimann's Dunkelweitz but let's get on with the tasting of this guy and I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the uh, the artwork on this one. It looks like a very kind of typical London street actually as you can see. It looks maybe about wartime actually with the style of dress and stuff that's going on there. Maybe a bit earlier than that. So as you can see a very nice kind of typical London street on there. And I do like the sort of satiny finish labels to this one and they've got quite a cool uh, label there. That's the bottles, the, the, uh, the pressure drop symbol actually. But a very nicely done label actually. Just a plain bottle cap on this one. It'd be cool if they put these on the bottle cap but probably quite expensive for them to do that. They and as you can see, there's their Twitter on the bottle and the bottle there as well. But it's got actually it says Unit 19 Bohemia Place, London E81DU. So put that into Google and you will see where they come from. But it says yeah, it says best before it says best before I think the 15th of July 2014. So this one should be all right. Actually, it should be quite nice to try. But let's get out and get on with the tasting. I couldn't actually find the malt and hop base as I usually like to quote in my beer reviews. That wasn't uh, on there on the website. So hopefully that's something they can actually add to it. But this guy is a 5% brown ale anyway. So as you can see, a nice sort of smoky opening to this guy. Let's just get it out into the glass and see how we got on here then. Just get this out, get the last, get the little bit of sediment out, and see how we get on here. But there, as you can see, it's come out a very, very nice sort of. If I bring the light up just so you can see this a little bit better, it's come out a nice sort of rubyish colour actually, a sort of ruby mahogany amber colour. There's just a little bit of sediment on the bottom of it there, which sometimes happens with your beers. You'll get a nice sort of uh, bready flavour out of it. I'm just look, checking there that my light's coming up. Apologies for that, there a little problem with the camera, so I had to edit the video, which is unusual for me. But as you can see, it's come out a very nice sort of dark brown mahogany colour. If I hold it up to the light there, it does have a little bit of a kind of ruby tinge to it, and it just has a nice finger of a sort of off-white beige tanny head on there. So let's give it a smell and see how we get on here, actually. It smells quite hoppy and fruity, actually. But there's a nice underlying of sort of roasted caramel character to it. 
but you can smell it. It's actually quite a hoppy brown ale by the by the going by the smell of it actually. Very nice, very nice smelling one. Just take a little bit of time with this and enjoy the aroma. But yeah. Very nice, very hoppy smelling beer with that nice underlying sort of coffee, uh, coffee and chocolate aroma in there. Very nice sort of roasted elements to this one. You can maybe pick up just a little bit of nuts in it, but it's got a nice dark, <coughs> pardon me, dark fruity aroma to it, which is quite interesting. Very, very nicely done. Just sniffed a little bit of it up there. I'm not having much luck with this beer review. But let's give it a taste and see how we get on. It's quite nice actually, it's, it does taste very very fresh actually. But in the opening there you've got a lot of nice kind of bready malts and the roasted character I think is kind of lingering all the way through the beer which is quite interesting. Yeah, very nice, it opens up with some nice bready malts but there's a lot of kind of roasted character in there. You're getting a nice mix of the kind of roasted brown sugar in there. And it does have a little bit of sweetness, but the roasted character does make it quite dark at the same time. The flavour does actually have a nice little bit, I think, of kind of woody and nutty flavour in it as well, but the roasted character it's quite dark I think and it's almost actually quite peaty I would say it's not quite it's not much of a kind of coffee roasted character it is more peaty it is it's maybe a little bit of the hops coming in there it does have a little bit of an earthy character to it I would say so maybe a good mix the roasted character does kind of have that sort of peaty taste to it I would say but there's some dark fruit in there coming out at the end it's the, the fruit is very very subtle but it's nice sort of fresh kind of reddish berries maybe a little bit of strawberry and plum or something like that it's not quite as sharp as like figs and things it's a very sort of just subtle sweetness coming out there on the end but yeah quite an interesting one I would say definitely just a nice little bit of a uh, pardon me of a subtle fruit character going as I'm saying you're getting that nice sort of earthy peaty roasted character underlying this one you open up with a nice little bit of bready malt and you've got some <coughs> pardon me some kind of nice roasted caramel flavors in there with a bit of nut and woody character a very very nice brown ale I should point out in terms of the mouthfeel it's actually a very very fresh it tastes very kind of light, fresh and refreshing, which is quite interesting for a brown ale, if you like. I think it's, I've described this one as mid-bodied. Usually, you would expect a brown ale to be quite full-bodied, but this one does have quite a wet mouthfeel to it, and it is nice and fresh at the same time. The carbonation is very, very soft, and that complements this nice sort of wet mouthfeel that it has. But at the same time, it has a little bit of oily character, which kind of suits it kind of suits the kind of peaty character to it and helps bring that out a little bit and that's probably working well and bringing out the kind of the little subtle fruit flavours as well I would say but in the end in the aftertaste it does become just a little bit dry so quite an interesting mouthfeel to this one and as I say the mouthfeel is slightly unusual for a brown ale but yeah it's a really really nice beer and I was quite impressed with the Freiman's Dunkelweiss that I reviewed from these guys before. That was a really, really interesting beer. So I've only had dark beers from this brewery, so the next one I'll do from these guys, I think I'll go for the IPA, or one of their sort of lighter beers, if you like, because I've been really impressed with their dark beers now, so hopefully I'll be equally as impressed with their IPAs and some of their lighter beers. So I'll need to keep an eye out in odd bins when I go in there once my stockpile finally starts to run low. But I would highly recommend that you take a little look at the Pressure Gap Brewery. If you do get the chance, go into odd bins and buy up some of their beers. Some really, really nice stuff. 
coming out from these guys I would say but yeah I hopefully I hope you found this beer review informative if you like brown ales give this guy a little try as I say the mouthfeel on this one I think is quite unique compared to some of the other ones I've had so quite interesting like that and as I say this is a brewery that I think is going to be very very up and coming in the next few months so be sure to check them out and try some of their beers and I hope you found my beer review informative and my ramblings on this beer in particular please let me know in the comments section your own thoughts if you have tried this beer before it's always interesting to hear those and as as always if you have enjoyed it please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff there's many more beer reviews for you to come and there will be more from pressure drop brewing in the future cheers